Good to see you again. Apologies, I was uh, reading this. How can I help you? Good to see you again, this man. Mm. Well, Casimir and me wanted to bring a few clarifications and other things. But just wanted to bring a few things up. Sure. Both him and uh, I think he might be running a little late, but mm. Basil's in the next room. Mm. Out, out, cold. Anyhow, as we want to bring up, I'll give you some information, and then if maybe Casimir gets here sooner, we can bring those up as well. He has been busy with uh, Corsetto. <clears throat> Please, mm -hmm. what do you have for me? There are a group of smugglers. That are operating within Allah's ranks. They move goods, you know, to and from quietly. And if we provided them with guard patrol routes or shifts, they would be willing to pay us a bit consistently. <clears throat> you said this is with the, with Hala's group. Mm-hmm. Within Hala's ranks. Interesting. Yeah. But on another note, and I'm sure Casimir <clears throat> feels the same way, but he and I are wondering, you know, why haven't we been hitting nopes in town? Like, the air <clears throat> for example, or, you know, just generating coin the way we kind of know how. You are concerned we aren't hitting the nobles. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Just a tad bit. I understand your concerns. Been, you know, not flowing, and you know, we need silver. I understand. Well, we have been uh, slowly accruing thanks to our deals with Frogfoot and the people of Corsetto. And this uh, mm. <clears throat> patrol thing that you have set up with Hala, which I am all for going ahead. We may need to hire some more muscle, though. We are a little stretched thin. Because of these things as well, I am hesitant to move on any of the nobles. I don't know mm. if you've noticed, there are some powerful ones in from Corakatis. Uh, Marquis something or other. He has connections into mm. similar dealings to us. And I believe we should be low-key about things. The further we peek out of our hiding, mm. at least when we are unprepared, easier it is for our heads to be cut off, and I don't really want my head to be cut off. I see. Well, another thing that uh, Casimir brought up was that it feels you've changed a bit. <clears throat> Since this all started, not really much else to say. Elaborate. He feels as you've changed a bit. He just, he said he wanted, you know, it's just about the silver thing, you know. Silver. Not flowing, you know. I know you were keeping it low key, and you told me now, but I don't know. He just wanted me to bring that up. His concerns have been noted. It would be <clears throat> better for him today, rather than me. But I do somewhat feel the same. I understand our reasoning now, but prior to this, we were just so kind of in the dark a little bit. Well, in the dark is where we thrive, but I understand. No. I would much prefer you mm -hmm. to uh, come to me with these problems or concerns and I can quell them rather than the two of you doing something <clears throat> irredeemable. Well, yes. We are, we are not doing anything without your say-so. Of course. We're just wondering what to do in the meantime. That's what it is. 
like we should i feel as if we should be hitting you know merchants boats wagon that sort of thing maybe get a gambling ring at the tavern pick some of the dice The goal for this whole thing is to gather information and to sell it. We are not thieves, remember. Mm. We I do see. what we need to do to survive. We do what we need to do to better ourselves. Of course, we would dabble into the darkness. Ah, uh, the pain. Hey, mm. we talk to him together. <clears throat> you don't talk for me. <clears throat> Sorry. You piece of shit. Darren sold you out. I'm kidding. I'm oh, kidding. I'm enough. Enough. <laughs> Calm it down, you two. Tell me your concerns. I don't know why we sit on simple silver. I don't know what he's said, but I see no reason for us to keep sitting on the Erhard estate. <clears throat> if you don't want to do it because of whatever connection you have, I get it, but what about your friend... The, the female one. She's more I'm connected sure she than could I get am. In and out with a bunch of... Have you seen her? She uh, goes in and out more than most people. I try not to th think about it. Have you seen the Urhard estate? Have you actually looked at it? Yes, it's part of the forge. It looks like there's a fairly a simple roof access. I mean, you have claimed that they're being watched by some unkillable force, but, I mean, I have not seen these things. I, <laughs> I mean, I don't have experience with it. Darren, tell me. You have seen so these things. I don't things. know what to believe. Forgive me, I'm getting a little... Headache. <clears throat> they are called Servants of Ash. They are from the Imperium. They are creatures, they roam the rooftops they see in the dark just as well as I can, or someone with a night stalker potion. The Imperium clearly has it out for the Urhards, and the last thing I want to do is piss off the Urhards and the Imperium. Not to mention their recent, uh, well, they were not exactly careful with it, with their reinforcements. The windows are barred, the doors are steeled now. Trust me, I have been looking into it since you mentioned it. It doesn't seem... Worth it. Well, that that does complicate things. <clears throat> I thought those were still normal placements. No. Trust me. I watch, I listen, I look around. I can't do that very much anymore because of these fucking servants of Ash that have been roaming around. Recently, at night time, they have been more aggressive with their movements. We have to be careful. We have to be... Stick into the shadows. It's not the time to be rash. I mean, I didn't mean to come off this hard, but, you know, there's only so much... I'm putting what coin I gamble in into our own coffers, but none into coming... Or not a lot is coming back into my <clears throat> pocket. And, like, and I get we're setting up, but... Sorry to cause any confusion, by the way. This is fine. It is okay. Like I said, to Darren, I would much rather you talk to me about this than do something half-cocked. I do appreciate your honesty and openness with it. <clears throat> I will look for something to uh, satisfy the both of you, though. Maybe a bigger heist or something we can do. Put some money in for the two of you. I mean, if the Erhards are off the table, then at the very least, maybe we could start looking to other nobles. You have to be careful, as I was saying to Darren, there are some important hotshots from Korakadis with connections. People that could wipe us out very easily. Connections like the Dread Knives, or even worse. <clears throat> Nobles here are mm. greedy, but a lot of them stick their foot into things we do, into the darkness. Mm. Now you said there is something to do with Hala. Or at least people within her ranks. I'd like you to go ahead and uh, <clears throat> go forward with that. Casimir, I want you to look around and see if we can't hire on some more muscle to swing by these places. Do it discreetly, of course. Nothing over the top. This should be a better income mm -hmm. of coin if we're helping these people smuggle. 
and we'll have some people I'll see what back. the you want them with a shady past I take it so they're easier to control someone who can be controlled and someone who understands our business I don't necessarily want to bring them here right. but I want to be able to round up some boys so to speak I get it. no offense neither of you have are some great fighters men on the payroll exactly <clears throat> none taken none taken I don't want to risk hey, you saw how I stabbed that one guy. You stabbed that one guy, yes, while I was dealing with 304. You did amazingly, Casimir. <clears throat> Next time, <laughs> I'll let you run up the operation. In fact, there you go. After you. <laughs> oh boy, a new knife. This is my fucking sword. Can I have it back, actually? I, I have... Know, this is mine now. I've actually been thinking about getting us some equipment, some uh, better clothes. I know mm. you two blend in well with those, but I would feel a lot better if you were uh, at least armed or... A little bit more. Exactly. At least able to go <laughs> incognito. If we are going to be stepping out a little bit and hiring on some people, it might attract the wrong attention. So I would much prefer it if the two of you were prepared. I'll look into that for you. And I'll get back mm. to you. You two know what you need to do. If you have any more questions... Don't hesitate. I'll be around. Mm. Well, and, uh, I do have... <clears throat> I do have one thing for you. Go on. Uh, the Marquis has seemed to have visited uh, Corsetto at least twice in three-day span. I'm not sure what or who he's met <clears throat> with, but they keep visiting, and our boys there have noticed for us. This is the noble I was talking about, the one from Korakadis. Powerful mm. man, dealings with worse individuals than us. We must be careful of him. But thank you, we can use this. Yes. <clears throat> Do you have a description? They... <sighs> Can't miss him. Walks around with an honor guard, looks like a smug fucking prick. I know that's most of the nobles here, <laughs> but this one is hard to miss. Any oh. colors? Uh, teal, isn't it? I believe so. One thing I've noticed is, is he he makes sure his men keep any riffraff out far away from him. Mm -hmm. hmm. Have you heard so back about our own, uh, own lads are having a hard time getting the? Have you heard anything about that one that went missing in Corset Corsetto? Uh, my my friend has still not surfaced. I've had our boys looking into it, but I fear the worst. Okay, I will try to travel there either today or tonight and uh, have a look around. <clears throat> See if I can't find anything. I do appreciate it. Of course, we Luckily, look after each other. He knows he knows next to nothing except what I asked him to look into. Good. So if someone has captured him, he can't reveal anything except except what he was asked to do by a friend. This is why we run things the way we do. Exactly this reason. <clears throat> anything else? I believe it. That is it. Okay. Do, uh, while you are here, keep an eye on Miss Basil. She has been going through it, and we take care of our own. Oh, yeah, you've been out. I don't know what's happened, but she seems to have had a rough bit of it <clears throat> and caused some sort of commotion in town. Between the two of us, mm -hmm. well, three of us, she had a run in with the Inquisitor. Did not go well. Oh. Mm. The fucking scumbags. That explains it. Anyway, look after her, keep an eye out, do what you need to do, I will reconvene with you tomorrow. Okay? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Thank you for clearing up the confusion we had. Of course. Take it easy, you two. Staying out of trouble, Mr. Clifford. As best as I can.
I'm having some frame issues today. I don't know what that's about. Map changes? I dare say so. Don't have anything else open. Golly gee, I sure hope my crew doesn't start pushing to do more and more dangerous activities like fucking Grayson did. <laughs> See, Kyler is, is very unhappy that they're getting greedy. Because this is exactly how it went down back there. <clears throat> Kyler was like, play it chill, don't step on any toes, and the others did not agree, and that's when everything went down. <clears throat> Morning, Silver. Uh, nothing new, as far as I can tell. 
Just more questions than answers. I believe uh, Stefano is currently working on a lead, though, in regards to the murders. He'll get to you soon. <laughs> uh, he's better inspector than I am. Go fucking figure. <laughs> Don't say that. You've been doing a bang up job. <clears throat> <laughs> Oh, did you see, uh, oh, that was a little clinic? Ah, yes. That's a bit concerning. They've been removing quite a bit of it, I, from what I've heard. Especially from the boats, by the sounds of it. Great, that's something I want to hear. Fucking to wear. What's all this for? Yes. What of this? Mm. Yeah. Just supplies laying around. People bringing things into town. Yeah. Personal belongings. Public belongings. Mm. And most of these things are shops. I believe that belongs to the mercenaries. <clears throat> it hurts my eyes to look at. <clears throat> Rub them. Aggressively. Huh? What? What are we talking about? Nothing! Oh, that was in my own head. Nothing. I don't- Why'd mm. you take advice from me out of all people? <laughs> Great. I don't- I don't know if I'll- mm. Who will end up- Morning. What, what- What- Why are you in your armor? Why- can, can- Can we have a day when we're not in armor? No. What else would I wear? The, the, your clothes that I've seen you wear? The ones that don't have a hood. Good morning, Marco. You could always you they take that you. hood and put it on it. Good morning. Yeah. It's physically impossible to do that, Tiberius. It would take me a long, well, I tried. A long weekend, and, and then it would break <clears throat> my clothes. Probably. <laughs> knowing my luck. I see. I see. I understand. It's okay. You're, you're, you're I'm excused. so sorry. Uh, I wonder what they were doing here. No idea. Sarkozy's men? Or the tavern for a while. Mm. That's the one. He's been sticking up a lot more recently. Mm. Throwing his weight around. Good and bad, I guess. He's still alive, so. No political damage there. Quick question, which is the front entrance to the Mercenaries Guild? I don't want to go to the back door. Is it that one or the other one? This one. Or is it the one on the other they're side? They're both technically. They're, they're both entrances. They're literally on the same size. It doesn't matter. Alright. Like, it's like a middle. Another passage. <clears throat> Plans for the day, you two? <sighs> Follow more dead ends. Eh, Things we've already been investigating with no good turnups. Gastodi's not happy. Then again, he's been very quiet since, you know. Yeah. He uh, came by the other day for uh, a report on things. We gave him the bite and truth, and he um, gave a very simple response and then walked away. Mm. So, the response being. Oh, he wasn't too pleased by it, but it wasn't exactly in a tone of him being angry. He's more, um, <clears throat> mellowed out. Yeah, I mean, I would be too. After what happened. And after what happened yeah, to so much the do. guy who did it. <laughs> or lack thereof. I find it quite odd that he didn't have a say in any of that. Yeah. There's a bit of that going around. <clears throat> Remember when the Capitano was executed? That was right. What did happen? Hmm. Very quick turnaround, too. Exactly. Got of our shit in line, though. So. God, I remember when that was our biggest problem. Huh. That was a much simpler time, to be honest. All the issues were confined between these walls. Now well, they're all out there. Yeah, well. Better them out there on the other side of the wall than in here with us, I suppose. <clears throat> 
security and yada yada yada. Yeah. Whatever they say about it. How's the training of new men? How's our garrison looking? Uh, that's well, that's coming along well. Uh, most of them have been getting along. Fresh faces starting to move through the ranks, I say. We still haven't really gotten many of the, well, the robber baron's men integrated yet, I believe, correct? It's a delicate process. Better it takes time. Have you heard anything from our garrison at Corsetto, by the way? Most of my duties are notice. Mm. Anything like that would be reserved <clears throat> to the um, armed forces that go outside the town. What? Uh, I was having some issues there. Apparently them and the imps there issues? have been at each other's throats. I plan to ride out there today with the major and figure out what the fuck's going on, but... It came to blows the other day, apparently. I wish you luck with that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? Apparently it came to blows. Just between us. Going to a fist fight on the docks. Thankfully it didn't escalate further than that, but it just... Yeah, just wish everyone could play nice. Any idea what was causing that, or is it just the fact that... No idea. They've been able to play along in the past, so... But when I go there, I'll ask, see what's been happening, see if we can squash it. I don't like the idea of Corsetto being fighting amongst itself when they keep getting attacked by orcs. What about, um, Palermo? What's that whole situation about? All well, quiet. Probably best to talk to, um, Lady Heidemann about that. I don't know, they were loyal to the Rob Baron last I heard. Um, I, actually, so we have uh, I've not heard any people towns. moving to and fro yet. Mm. In what? Complete disarray? <laughs> it's fucking great. <laughs> Not complete disarray, just... below average. Getting there. Yeah, we're trying to... I do hear the cell swords, apparently, in Cassetto have been the ones apparently keeping the majority of the peace, at least around the outskirts <clears throat> of the town. Yes, yeah, there's smaller oh, problems inside. A group of cell swords that are set up to be merchants, too. Which is concerning. That's peculiar. Yeah. So what are they double dipping? Sounds like it. Where the hell are getting the coin for that? Yeah. Well, it's in the name. I'll look into it today when I go there. <clears throat> See if we can't get more answers. Not too concerned. Sounds good. It's out of my jurisdiction. <laughs> you want anything outside of town? I talked to Stefano or... Okay. <sighs> we should get you something to eat, my <clears throat> lord. <clears throat> After you. Good idea. Let me get back to <laughs> Fixing these fucking down. <laughs> good luck, you too. <laughs> uh, good luck to yourself. Uh, you want 12 people, so that probably just cost you like a gold? Yeah. <sighs> How you doing today? And one of his people has been getting into trouble. Is the fixer. You are the brewmaster, correct? <coughs> ah, perfect timing. Every time. Every fucking time I come here. <laughs> He's here. He's right there. Oh, he is My here. Lord. He is right there. Wow, it has been a while. It's good to see you again. Yes, it has been quite a while, and here I think that you, uh, stopped eating again or something. What is it, you, my lord? And you. Was that an issue? Was what an issue? You know what, I'm not gonna dig, dig into that one. Yeah, don't worry about it, I'm gonna be fine. He worries too much. Anyway, what can I do for you, gentlemen? I believe Tiberius was gonna oh. buy me food. Yes, I was. Uh, Two meals for the both of, of us, and drinks, <laughs> if you would. Of course. Of course. What's the special the today? Is, uh, well, right now it's the breakfast food. You know, nice and hearty meats. You know, sausage, eggs, etc. Can I have mine in a sandwich? That sounds amazing. Breakfast sandwich. Sandwich? Yeah. You want a sandwich? Breakfast sandwich. 
You're going to make me. Can, can I have mine? Person. Can I have mine and like the bread rolled flat and rolled? I would like that, but I didn't know if you had any. <clears throat> Do we have? Is that an option? Excuse me, the flat. I would flat. Like you want? You know, you're saying you want flat bread? I want flat bread and then every, all the eggs and the sausages and everything thrown in it and then rolled up. Mm -hmm. Bit of pepper. Would you like? Would you like? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm, yeah, that's no, pepper. I think, I think little I spinach. Pinch. I've got, I've got just mm. a mm -hmm. Ooh. Ooh. Good and filling. Mm -hmm. Sounds good to me. <laughs> Easy does it. And then the drink. Any preferences or should I surprise you? Mm. Of orange juice. What are you him alone? Juice of orange. Fruits of some sure. sort. Gonna have to go juice some, but yeah, sure, I can do that. <clears throat> You're ah. amazing, Gabum. That'd be good. Fantastic. Yeah, I know that. I'm glad everyone else starts <clears throat> to notice it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so how about this for your flat bread? <clears throat> yeah? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. What are your plans for the rest of the day <laughs> after this? Uh, so I right would need to speak to you. That's right. Uh, You've been wanting to do that for ages. Out. For ages <clears throat> now. Uh, also, your lessons as well. Yes. And let us see. What else? I have training with the guards today, and a bit of paperwork here and there that I'll have to be disposed of, but... We don't <sighs> have enough in our garrison to spare to fully garrison Corsetto, do we, in case... Hmm. No, we don't. Yeah, I didn't think so. Maybe <clears throat> if we would incorporate the Robber Baron's men, we could spare some, but at this time... <sighs> yeah, I just... Because that is a <clears throat> disaster in itself we yeah. have to deal with first. It's like, do we want rubber arms men or Imperials? I don't even know if the Major would go for it. <clears throat> the only other option is let the cell swords take over. That would be the only other suggestion. <sighs> I worry Though that that's the noble's the already paying point. for it. <sighs> Maybe. But it makes sense. If... They are the most to gain. Why all over this, this then? But why, why the incentive to fought? To gain, what, more power in the area? The nobles' personal retinues, I would sh sure, would be able to keep them in line, would they not? Unless the nobles in on it. Hmm. I learned recently that some people have been frequenting that town. Yeah, it's good, but... <clears throat> oh? The place doesn't look barren. I'll tell you later. <laughs> Two breakfast meat sandwiches. Good bum. Ah. Thank you. Thank you, good bum. And the drinks are chilled. <clears throat> You'll have to tell me how you do this. It's amazing. I don't keep secrets. Tiberius, you have your skills and I have mine. Why is it cold when you go barren, <sighs> but hot when you go? <sighs> One of life's great mysteries, my lord. <clears throat> Should we Hello. take this, uh, I'm sure it's just... ...home and we can talk about... Your, Where? ...your problems? Sure. Why not? Uh, of course, <laughs> yeah, I would also right. enjoy being... Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's part of it, too, after hate, the service. I would hate to have to assume I'm opening a tab, so... <laughs> Put on Tiberius' tab. Too, <laughs> yes, on his tab. You laughed, but there was... <laughs> but there was a tab for me at one point. <laughs> oh, God. Yes, we don't want to revisit that incident now, do we, Tiberius? Nope! Nope, not again. Not <clears throat> ever again. Exactly. <clears throat> Ugh. Morning. Uh, this is really good. Good yeah, idea. Let me have a try. Mmm, <laughs> my god. What mm, is this? Mmm! Mm. so juicy. So good and tasty. Mm. It's so delicious. <clears throat> I want to try one of these breakfast sandwiches. Breakfast sandwiches? sandwiches? What it's, it? it's like bread with like meat and sausage, Eggs, egg, sausages oh. and meat, meat uh, pepper. I've, I've been looking months. It's delicious. Like the first few weeks. <clears throat> and we got cool, cool juice. Cool juice. <laughs> 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 
Yes. This look look how happy my lord is. So good and tasty. I'm literally training the gods. There's that big fuck off sword that you found at that little adventure you were on. You wouldn't know how to use it. Mm. You could probably do that, Tibbs. Oh. No, I can do that. I can show you how to use it. That'd be interesting. Mm. Yeah, it would be. We need to build more. Like nearly. Mm. Yeah, that too. That. Like, the sword's, like, girth is bigger than your arms. Bigger than he is. I don't use one of them, yes, though. Yes, but he, he, he's compact. A long sword. I'm built different, okay? I could not use a big sword Which like that. I may that. not go on the daily run, but I do work out. Focus no, on, do um... Too. I don't go on the daily run. Back and shoulder mm. exercises if you want to use a big fucking sword like that. Because that's what you're going mean, to need. And legs. You'll need the car. You'll still need to work the legs because there's a lot of foot action. <clears throat> people so love the foot action the hand. I've never been, never really cared for it, personally. Yeah. I, I can, I, I can help <clears throat> you with that. Uh, we can talk in exchange of sorts. What would be for that? Alright. That's good. Hmm. Mm, perfect. Right. Oh, any update on the iron mine? How's the? I don't know if we've started income yet. Uh, we got to work um, out details. Well, no idea. But I just got all the mercenaries in order, mm -hmm. so that's being taken care of. Hopefully today. Okay. Transport the stone supplies and everything. Yep. Keep us updated. Mm. All right. Dead beers. Very nice. <clears throat> ah, well. Good on you, man. Yeah. Let me know when you want those lessons. Oh. You're charging like one gold for sword I lessons, I right? I was considering that. Well, something of a value of gold. <sighs> mm. Maybe ask for like think? discounts or something. Hmm. Permanent discount for a uh, at his place of business. <clears throat> yeah, I, I know really he's buy much from there, if I'm honest. That's true. They they're supposed to be like the merchants in town, but I never buy shit from them. <clears throat> Duh. <clears throat> you left your drink, my lord. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Once it shows up. Just <sighs> <Shazam>. out. <gasps> Alright. <clears throat> sandwich did a flip. <laughs> I mean, just look at look at my man. <laughs> Do it. Do it, my lord. Do it. Yes! Massive kickflip. <laughs> oh yeah? Watch this, watch, watch, oh yeah, my lord. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> what's, uh, what's been on your mind, I think? Yes. <laughs> <clears throat> well, we can continue our conversation about the cassette, but we can move on to the other subjects if you want. <sighs> yeah, um, got some information from my people. <sighs> Apparently, the Marquise has been oh. <clears throat> visiting Corsetto every day, every two days, frequently. Now, this guy is the guy that came into the house mm. and threatened me for making too many big moves. <clears throat> mm. 
He's from Coricatus originally, in case you've forgotten, and he dabbles in under dark underworld sort of underbelly activities. <clears throat> Got powerful connections. Mm, yeah. Which makes me wonder if he's the one inciting this sort of issues between the Radards and the Imperials and hoping that it gets to the point where he can take over the town using his cell swords. <clears throat> but that is a theory. I have nothing to go off on it. I'll have to learn more when we go out there today. Wouldn't that merely <clears throat> incite possible war, though? That'd maybe. be quite daring to do. Maybe he doesn't care. Maybe he'll swoop in at the last minute. Whoa, 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 this is getting out of hand. Let my cell swords and my house guard take care of it. Mm. That is one of the only towns with an actual dock, aside from here. If he wants to well, export I mean, stuff. <clears throat> I know. It is the only one that is fully functional, besides, well, the one in Nautas, but <clears throat> the real owned. For Radons, it seems like the only one that can bring an actual large amount of equipment and cargo in. Mm -hmm. Not to worry about taxing stuff from the Imperials. <sighs> well, there you go. There's a motive. But again, we're putting the car before the horse here. We should figure out what we find when we go there. <clears> hmm, <throat> I concur. You've been wanting to talk for a while, but though. But I was looking into that prisoner situation, <clears throat> my lord. Right. I had attempted to try to look around the keep, uh, ask around, poke my nose in certain places, and it was not easy, my lord. It seemed a lot of the people are tight-lipped, and were very watchful of my movements. Just one moment. Mm. <laughs> Sorry about that. <clears throat> And if I'm honest, my lord, it will not be easy to poke around the keep at all. No. Unless... <sighs> the only time I can think about it is if maybe there's a major event taking place. Uh, a party of some sort, maybe. There is, actually. <clears throat> oh? Lady Heidemann is doing some sort of art event at the vineyard with Sarkozy, and he's invited all the nobles. Oh. That's at the vineyard, though, my lord. I'm talking about the keep itself. Right, but everyone from the keep would be at the vineyard. But the security would still be more pressing and it would be more curious if somebody is wandering around. If everyone is gone. If they saw me, but I understand what you mean. Hmm. If there was an event taking place, though, within the keep, then move it's the quite crowd. possible to move around far easier. Got it. Exactly. Might even just straight up over here something. If we're too, too. reckless, mm. that is also possible. It's easier to, for more people to move about if there's well, every, all the servants are running with their heads cut off. Security <coughs> is moving from place to place. It's harder to keep track of everything. True. Okay. Though you are a lord, you'd be able to walk in with ease. Once I'm in, yes. not with the eyes. Yes, but eyes would still be upon you. But you'd probably be able to get around a lot easier. Okay, well I suppose this is on hold until an event occurs then. That would deem that. Oh, it could be any time by now, my lord. The war has ended just recently, so there might be a, a dinner that takes place. The Baroness is awake. Uh, from what I heard, she liked to host uh, gatherings every now and then. So. I guess we'll bide our time. For now, it seems the man itself is still alive and well, but the longer it takes, I worry that if he will be able to <coughs> remain stone-hardened. Or if they <coughs> will be too much of a concern, they'll try to eliminate him. It's tempting to move him somewhere safe, but if we do that, then any eyes watching will know that we're onto them. I can concur. <coughs> okay. Not if the man died in the cells, but somehow lived. 
Maybe... Hmm, it'd be tricky to pull off. Maybe he could, um... Die in an accident. I would need a body, Lord, and it's a little... <laughs> Dangerous to do, especially if we're found out. They'll want to know where the body came from later down the line. Yeah. A little too dangerous, in my opinion. <clears throat> okay, I guess we bide our time, then. Hmm, I concur. What else was on your mind? <sighs> well, I was curious about something. And I wanted to give time for this before I spoke of it. Mm -hmm. It's about what happened to Sir Marcus Brooker. Mm -hmm. Well, my lord, he was. What was that blight that was about the man? It's an infection. We thought... An infection, you say? Yes. While delving into the ruins of places from the past, we encountered... <clears throat> creatures that infected people with some sort of disease. When they die, they rise again. We developed a uh, cure yeah, and, and thought everyone was had taken it, but <clears throat> he hadn't. Is this something similar that the, the Lady Benora had spoken about before? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> he speaks a lot. Mm -hmm. I think the name mentioned was uh, Shroom... Uh, some sort? That is it, yes. <clears throat> I was trying to skirt around it, but yes. I don't understand why, but... <sighs> then my question is, is how dangerous is this disease? <sighs> Once it's cured, it's cured, as far as we know. It only seems to take effect when the person passes away. Do we understand how the infection moves about to the individuals? <sighs> Better to ask, um, Venora that. <clears throat> Spread through uh, I prefer not to if I'm coughing or Especially. some of the spores from the creatures. That's all I know, though. I don't have the alchemical mind of it all. I see. I only ask because I was worried about the safety of the household. Understand with his presence. We did have the Baroness here, and if he was infected... I believe everyone here has been cured. Everyone that <clears throat> had been infected. All right. Thanks to the efforts of Venora. Very well. I don't trust your opinion. Mm. I was curious because I was worried about the implications. Understand. That's fine, it's better you know, so if it does happen, <clears throat> you can deal with it. <clears throat> it's a <sighs> closely guarded secret, though, so. We believe the- I've not mentioned anything. We believe that because people were loose-lipped about it originally is why the Inquisition is here. Oh. Yeah. 
Let's see. Yeah. Well, that would explain why that day arrived then. Absolutely. Anything else? Well... You know, I had other things on my mind, my lord, but it is slipping. <laughs> like a cool sheet of paper. Oh, paper? Like water. What? Oh, I'm crazy, my lord. I've lost my mind. You've had too much orange <laughs> juice. I'm cutting you off. <clears throat> no, my lord, you can't. I need more. <sighs> You were going to teach me, uh, a language. Undercommon. Yes. 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 Right. I have painstakingly been working on the letterings for that. Painstakingly. Painstakingly. Understand undercommon <clears throat> is a bastard of a language. I heard it was very guttural, and I picked up, like, two words last time I was assaulted by drow. Right. So, right here is the closest version of letters I can depict for you, based off the memory I have of the few <coughs> pages I was able to see. Rolling, Kyler. With a 19, Kyler, you notice that the two, the two kind of letters that kind of maybe make up the words you, you learned? And you're like, oh, but everything else here is like gibberish to you. You don't even understand the way what it, it is supposed to mean. Spasiva. The boy. And that's it. No, at least it's somewhere. You got two out of <laughs> the whole 200. Yes. But we'll, we'll get there. Okay. We'll get there. We'll get there. So a lot of it is digging deep within the gut, being very guttural with it. And basically, you want to formulate the words using a lot of your throat, yeah. as odd as it sounds. Exactly. Yeah. Good. There you go. You got that word right here. Yeah. I don't know what these mean, though. Exactly. <clears throat> Well, it will take time, but this means, uh, in the, in the common tongue, uh, gak. Gak. Yes. Gak. Exactly. What does it mean, though? Gak. Ah, gak means, uh, water. Gak. Gak. I sound like Arka. Ooh, you don't want to sound like I Yeah. Guess. That'd be terrible. Right. I must, on, I must learn quickly right. before I come across a drow, and I'm like, Welcome to Tavern. <laughs> now, let's... Uh, <clears throat> all right, let's see how this works. I'm going to say a phrase to you, and you're probably not going to understand it at all. Mm-hmm. All right. Da -da 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 -da. Let me just get my brain to the place it needs to be. There it is. Right. This is your name. Right here. When he says that, Kyler, it is... Deep and full gibberish to you. Your, your head sort of cocks, and then your eyes are like, Huh? You, you said it sounded like you were clearing your throat. Ah, right. <clears> throat> okay, so what we'll do is let's get you a quill. I'm gonna have you work on pronouncing your name right here. Oh god, this takes me back. All right. <clears throat> okay. Mm hmm. It's the best way to start. And if you have a quill on you... Not on me. I haven't had a quill on me in a long time. No. Oh, you really should carry one on you. I do. Nerd. Yeah, I'll lend you mine. Thank you. What? How dare you? 
I used to carry a quill on me back when I used to work at a scrabery, but that was when I used to work at a scrabery. Well, I used to work in a scribery and I never stopped carrying a quill. <clears throat> Oh, my head. Okay. Ooh. So I just... What do I... So right here is the letterings of your name. I wrote it down. Mm -hmm. so okay. I just copy them? So we'll start right underneath. Copy it, and I will pronounce it as you, we do it, alright? Okay. So, the first bit of the word is Merk. Merk. Ugh. Ugh. Bark. Bark. Mac. Bark. Do. Do. What? You're, you're fucking with me. <laughs> these aren't words, Tiberius. These are just random noises. These are, you're these making. are words. <laughs> these aren't words. <laughs> these are words. <clears throat> these are words. I promise you. <laughs> <laughs> this is an elaborate prank. <laughs> Where, where's the scribe what? writing what? this down? Where is it? Where is it? Yeah, listen, listen, I'll, 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 I'll say it right now. I'll say your name clear. Okay. My name is Kyla. That, that kind of sounded like that. That's, that is your name. That is how it's pronounced. Uh, <laughs> Listen, just because in undercommon, <clears throat> it doesn't sound pleasant to your ears. It is normal. Do you have an accent? Like, is, I, is your undercommon accent, like, really that... suave, or is it, like, gross? <clears throat> I, I, well, I didn't have the best upbringing. What do you expect? I was a male drow in the underdog. <laughs> what, do you think I was a toy to the matrons? Yeah. <laughs> Bad education. Isn't that how that works? <laughs> Not all of them. Um, you can still hear me, right? It's a very... Yes, I can still hear you, yes. How do I- do I sound weird now? You sound very weird now, it's perfect. Fantastic. <clears throat> Good job. Yeah, I'm setting it up, making right. sure it's... So... Yes? Okay, so... <laughs> so, so again. Work on the letters okay. and pronunciations. <clears throat> Meh? Meh. Meh. Kuh. Yes, yes. Is it va or ba? Da. Da. Meh. Da. Ve? Yep. Bech. Bech. Meh. Kuh. Da. Vech. There you are. And that means Kyla? My name is Kyla. So Kyla would be. It, understand the, <clears throat> the words here and the pronunciations are shifted. It's not exactly to paper as it would be in common. Kyla, my name is. It's almost like. It's. Basically, it's <clears throat> it's like in a reverse, so to speak, to common. I see. You, you can see in his face, he does not see. <laughs> he does not see at all. I, I understand, I'm getting it. Just, just... Okay, alright, just, just, just slow. Just, just okay. work on the cursives and the pronunciation. Cursives? It's all fucking... <laughs> it's like someone's scratching at it. That's how the language is. Listen, I did not come up with under. <laughs> fix it, under Tiberius. If I did, I cannot fix this, my <clears throat> lord. This is what you asked to learn. <sighs> right. There, there you are. Okay. Feels weird in the mouth. Like I'm gaining saliva. It, it gets worse. <clears throat> It gets worse. Okay. It, it, it becomes almost like a tar <clears throat> if you use it too much. Okay. <coughs> so, this would be... Uh, is, what is that? Is that a V? Vol. Huh? Dachvol. 
Meh. Yes, just like that. Duh. Yeah, meh. That's over here. You're, you're, you're looking at the other side of the pad. You, want you said it was backwards. Don't look at this side. This side? It is, it is, it, the pronunciation is forward, but the understanding it translation of common is backwards. They make this per like hard on purpose, don't they? <clears throat> It's not, it's not, it, what, it's what not- What fucking drow <laughs> sat down <laughs> around a table and were like, Alright, boys, <laughs> means hello. I don't understand the concept of when they developed <clears throat> the language. But if you want to blame anything, you can always curse the, uh, the matrons. That's what I do. How would I say that? Oh, here. Yeah, let me borrow that. Wow, you were fluent <laughs> right with there. that. You've done that a lot. Yes. I see. Okay, and how... Yes. So... Gukakniak! Gukakniak. Gukakniak. Yes, yes. Alright, and I should definitely not... ...not say this in front of other drow. Never say this in, in any drow's presence. <laughs> and if you say it in front of a matron, you'll have your head lobbed off. <clears throat> well, now Instant. Sarah would take it. Oh, I'd love it. Should I try? It'd be funny. <laughs> Should I see what she does? Rolling, Kyler. <laughs> natural choice! <laughs> You'll be able to understand how to curse the patrons! <laughs> and be able to get these few extra words today! But with that natural 20 in your own name, that will be all you can learn today. Fuck the Matron. Oh, wow. Very good, my lord! Fantastic! My name is See? Kyla. The pronunciation is... Fuck the matron. Exactly, my lord. Fantastic! <laughs> this is a... This language is easy. Just a lot of... <laughs> See? It's a... There's just a lot of guttlerulness <clears throat> to it, and a little, uh... <coughs> more, but you, 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 get, you get the hang of it. <coughs> 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 Okay, that's that's gonna do my throat for today. I think <clears throat> I'll look over this. Yes, I don't. I over the night. Yes, yes. just practice your name and fucking say, fuck the matrons. You'll be set. My name, Kyla, is male matrons. The fuck. Ooh, that wasn't correct. <sighs> You're mixing things up now. You, you, if you're not careful, you start combining Kyla, my things, my lord, you'll start matron. making it. The. And you might end up saying you want to fuck a matron. My. Matron. Is. The fuck. Kyla. Oh, no. No. You know, oh, no, my lord, please, no. Oh. Kyla is the fuck. No, no, same. There you go, my lord. That's better. There you go. Oh, well God. done, my lord. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna need it. <clears throat> wow. And you guys just talk like this normally. We talk like this all the time. It is extensive. We spend hours, days, days and nights speaking like this. It sounds like it hurts. Yeah, you get used to it. It's not as much painful as what else they do to us. Um, <clears throat> I honestly, I suppose, yes, if you spend your life as a fucking, like, dining room table, speaking the language doesn't hurt that much. I assume that's what they do to you down there. Oh, I wish I, I wish, I wish I was the dining room <laughs> table servants. Were you the toilet seat? No, I was, uh, I was the servant in chains. What did you do? They, did they just have you in chains? Uh, I was... I was born to be, uh, basically, <clears throat> at the full service of my matron. Uh. For a... Special tasks, to say the least. Fuck but, the matron. Anyways. Exactly, my lord. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> continue to study that. This will take time, understand? The language is difficult. Yeah. <clears throat> it's weird because with like 
languages in Korokatus, it's like the word cat is cat. It's the same word and it's just like directly the same. Whereas this is like, yes. it's that, but this, this is... is... <clears throat> Yeah. Yes. In, not to mention the sentences being moved around. We haven't even gotten to the difference of masculine and feminine yet. Right. <clears throat> and I, I assume that's pretty degrading. Oh, they have they they have a uh, different uh, pronunciations through the through the throat, and they have different meanings. So right. like. Elk. Or versus... Sounds like you're having a stroke. Like, to me, that's... <clears throat> yeah. It, 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 I just sp said breakfast sandwich. Oh! In two different ways. Oh. Hmm. Yeah. It's horrid, but you'll get used to it. <laughs> <clears throat> um... I was hoping. Are you, yes. Oh, are you heading off? No, no. What, what, what did you need, my little? I was hoping saying? to ride out and meet with Venora really quick, or if she's coming into town today, <clears throat> need to warn her of something. Oh, uh, she should be in town any moment. I would like to think. <coughs> Good. I do need to step away for a quick moment, my lord. Uh, I'm going to go get my armor on so I don't look like a horrid uh, protector. Um. Shall be right I'm back? Sh yep, the armor will fix mm, that. What? <clears throat> yeah, you, you were going to say something, weren't you? You were going to say something. <sighs> mm. I appreciate your service. I really do. I feel like I learn so many things when I'm around you. <clears throat> uh, it's a pleasure to have a fellow kin who understands the proper values, to say the least. Oh, right. <clears throat> Speaking of, that new drow that showed up yesterday. That's exactly what I'm warning Venora about. I'd be cautious around them. And they came up approaching me, threatening already, <clears throat> saying, I am not hunting you, drow, nor any matron has sent me to hunt you. They claim to be a surface dweller, but that sentence alone is disturbing, to say the least. Apparently they, uh, they hunt escaped slaves or something of the sort. <clears throat> yes, they are a seeker, apparently. Hunting individuals or things. Should I say and fuck the matrons them. to him? He would probably not understand if he is not of the surface. Yeah. That'd be a good test. Yes, but that could also give you <coughs> away if you are an underdog trial. The language, we do not use it often unless we want to expose ourselves. There's plausible deniability if you are a surface trial versus one from the underdog. I mainly intend on using it to listen than to speak. Hmm. I recommend it as well. Hmm. I've done it many times. <clears throat> How I've avoided a lot of trouble and also arrested people for trouble. Mm. Alright. Yeah. Good luck with your stuff. I'll be around. I'll be back soon. Yep. Your jaw slightly hurts, Kyler, trying to <coughs> have the words that were to come out correctly. It was a strange experience trying to speak a language that is completely foreign to you. Blech. But the words came easily. <coughs> Afternoon, Lord. Afternoon. Dang. I... <coughs> You've seen Venor today. She's out in front of the clinic, likely about to go inside and talk with Miss Heidemann. <sighs> if I had to hazard three guesses. Great. Fucking great. Okay. How are you doing? You want some quick information that'll be able to help you out if you actually utilize it? <clears throat> Always. You want to talk inside or you do not give a shit who hears? Well, I don't know what you're talking about. 
<clears throat> Should we go inside? Alright, let's go inside. You wanted the short version? I can sure. do the short version. <clears throat> short version works. Okay. Short version. In By the end of tomorrow, the town will have access to siege weaponry. By my understanding, not a lot of the guardship actually has knowledge of how to use it or not. I think that it would be a good opportunity for the Erdhart family to teach them how to utilize it. Not only to better protect the town, but also in case we need to use it against particular parties in the woods. I see. Where are you... Where are we getting if we this can... siege equipment from? You're making I'm making it. Equipment. Huh. Okay. Yeah, I've been making a ballista <clears throat> for the past three days. Oh, okay. Ballista. Yeah, I've we've used those. Okay. Those I know. Yes. I can use those. We're... We're putting together a ballista and hopefully going to be mounting it on the northern wall. But I also had the supplemental idea of being able to mount a ballista onto the back of a cart to have a roaming one that we're able to take into the middle of a battle. Your mind is fascinating, you know that thing? I mean, it, it's a very simple idea. Put the siege engine <clears throat> on a wheel. Anyway. I thought that it would be a good idea for, in tandem with mercenaries, or at least having some kind of able body, the Earthhearts would be able to teach the guardship how to operate them. Seeing them in that kind of a fashion would solidify more of a positive <laughs> outlook. Agreed. With the guardship and who is being protected by them. Yeah, definitely can be done. <clears throat> Thanks for that, Tang. Thanks for the heads up. Figured I would bring it up. Mm -hmm. If you need more hands than just who you have in your house specifically, uh, Sardo also has a couple of mercenaries that are willing to take orders from you. Mm. If you need, fortunately, uh, the instruction. The houses are a little <clears throat> low, but no, I appreciate it. Yeah. Figured I would bring it up. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you have other business you need to get to. Yeah. But. Yeah, ballista should be done by end of day tomorrow. You can start training whenever. You said on the northern wall, correct? Northern wall, closest towards everything that's actually orcish. <clears throat> you fight a ballista? Uh, don't think I have actually. Okay, then you'll be involved in this too. <clears throat> oh, what the? You say ballista and be involved. Can we give the now, short, short version? Yeah. I'm making ballistas. I gave the idea to Sardo in order to teach everybody actually how to use them. The Erdhearts could assist in teaching the usage of siege weaponry because this house has had a lot of experience with sieges, namely over there, mm -hmm. and also in that other kingdom. <clears throat> so, hoping for in you order to you solidify the position your training of the guard already, but if you don't know, then I'll have to. Yeah. Well, you'll have to teach me how it properly works. Yes. I've only fired the fucking things, but <clears throat> I wouldn't know how to repair them or maintain them or well, anything. Yeah. Even back then, I, I kind everything I know about actually using them is from Nicholas. Yeah. Let's Making them is a combination of that and what I've learned Tell you so what, set it up. But <clears throat> we'll run through some demo tests with us. If Arn wants to jump in as well, we can look at it, see how it works, and try and get to know it a bit better before we start teaching people about it. We'll run some tests, put some targets yeah. out there, see what we can do. Yeah. Cool. I just <coughs> think going on, you could at least use some kind of a boost and figure this might be it. Yeah, that'd be great, actually. <clears throat> Thanks, Dang. As soon as it's all done, <coughs> come by and make you aware so that you're able to tinker around with it. Just need to make sure that everything actually works right before you mess with a very high-powered crossbow. Yep. I'll get out of your hair. Oh, by the way, my lord. <sighs> How much did I owe you for the cavalry axe? I don't think I have a page. It's 50 in silver and you did pay me. You paid me. Oh, the cavalry axe? <clears throat> I think you the did. The cavalry axe, you know, I never paid for it. Did you not? No, I didn't. 
I did not. You, you just handed it to me. You honest little boy. There you are. How much is it? <laughs> you just gonna hand it over. Um, <clears throat> Take all my funds, my lord. Bring glory. After the <laughs> after the fucking uh, lance that I've been making for you, I'm not surprised. Um, <clears throat> was it iron? Ah, uh, yes. It was seven silver. There you are. Thank you. Which puts us at eighteen for. <sighs> Perfect. <clears throat> Look at you being honest. All right, How let's is go. that coming, by the way? Um, tomorrow afternoon it should be done. Takes a lot with the iron and such. Okay. But... <clears throat> huh. <clears throat> Ugh. I don't know. I need to see Mirren at some point. Let's see how the gambas for my horse is coming. Ah, we could stop by. Enjoy your red dye. You as well. Uh, and, uh, like I said, let me just quickly see if Nora is about. Also, a bunch of white dye. You could make I'll a lot of that in mind. Maybe. I need to have a call. Ugh, my throat is all fucking ruined now. Uh, yeah, it, it. I highly recommend water, my lord. What are you we talk? Um, when you have time... Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I, w I need to actually talk to you. Uh, get you and your father's opinion on something. Dare I ask why you're bloodied? Uh, injured hunter in the forest. Of course. I rode as fast as I could to get him here to the clinic. Alright, um, yeah, we'll talk in uh, your shop. Oh sure, uh, may I... Um, tie the horse up to one of y'all's stables out back, is that okay? Uh, if we have room, sure. <clears throat> uh, just to one of the poles, it won't be there long, just... Sure. So she won't wander. Uh, make way for an old man, eh? <laughs> Oops, okay, sorry, sir. It's alright, quite alright, have a good day, uh, my lord. Got mm -hmm. the Nah! Okay. Um, give me... Come on, Ruben. I'm gonna put you back here for right now. <clears throat> Why does every time I speak to her, I feel like something horrible is about to happen? It's the sense of foreboding dread. Mm -hmm. <laughs> known? Yeah, I get it every time. Going to tie you up to this oh. pole, okay? It's 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 strange because she's usually <laughs> so Love like zombie. lax about things. She's like, oh, can I talk to you about something? It's like, mm -hmm. yeah, sure. It's like, yeah. So there's like, mm -hmm. kill a war forge, and mm -hmm. we're all about to die. And I'm like, sorry, what? You know. Mm. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Yeah, I went to the river yeah. and, and got attacked yes. by a bunch of fucking orcs. Uh, don't worry about it. <sighs> Come inside, uh, Venora. Also, yeah, if you don't mind. Uh Grab a bucket of water. Sorry, I don't. Tiberius, oh, I mean thank you. Oh, oh, thank you. I just want to. Messing your house. Sorry. Apologize. Have you, like, been in a house recently? <clears throat> been in your house recently? It's, it's, it's uh, always a mess, Venora. Well, uh, yeah, that's why I wanted to make sure I told your father if I was coming to your house or not <clears throat> beforehand because I didn't want to. Because you seemed kind of mad when I was showing up now. Uh, <clears throat> it's fine. Well, Thank you. What would you like to talk about? <laughs> There's a drow in the city. New drow. Uh, male. He's male? a slave hunter. <laughs> Escape slave. What did you call him? Seeker. Uh, a seeker. <clears throat> a seeker, okay. He's apparently looking for someone called Petal. I was told this person is in your company. Hmm. Uh, a wood elf? I believe so. Okay. Yeah, I gotta re-dye his hair so he's not recognizable and recut it. <clears throat> Maybe don't, he um... fled from the Empire. <clears throat> huh. Yeah. Maybe don't, um, bring him into this city then for a while. This person's gonna stick around. Keep them... <clears throat> oh, they said they... 
always find what they're looking for, so they're very arrogant. Yes. Mm. <clears throat> okay, that I can do. Just, I'll make sure he stays within the confines of the grove then. Just figured I'd keep you a heads up. Thank you. Mm. Uh, thank you, that's much appreciated. Mm -hmm. um, also, then what I want to talk to you about, I had talked to Miss Laudia and stuff, and I didn't want to... I was wanting to put together a missive to send to the Baroness. I already sent one to her about dealing with uh, the land thing that she awarded me and trying to get the Grove area encompassed in a way that she's unaware of, but is aware of the boundaries of which I want to look over. Um, I'm wanting to... Me and her had a, an idea. Uh, that first tier going into the keep that's like kind of plain or whatever, we were wanting to put together a project of making a, a garden of sorts uh, for lords and ladies to meet, to congregate after arena fights or even at night, uh, during night arenas and <clears> stuff <throat> like that for people such as yourself and stuff. You know, trying to do, you know, form unity and kind of like all that after the war had ended and, you know, it's just going to be about on the orcs now. Um, I want to see what your father thought of if he want to incorporate any Gwen architecture into it, or if he thinks that that would be a bad idea, and just make it full Grodian architecture. I don't think involving Gwen architecture would be a good idea, and <clears throat> truthfully, it's a keep. Okay. After all, it's not meant to be a happy meeting place. In fact, they have that inside, don't they? You've <clears throat> yes, and the other thing you have to keep in mind: the land you are going to receive will be taxed. So you'll have to find a way to pe pay those taxes. Oh, you mean... And you'll uh, be investigated the, uh, for that as well. Yeah, I already put a thorough letter together to the Baroness um, about that. And I know how to handle taxation. I was going to do Wood Elf guides, anybody who's on the land, because I want to try and keep it as a... I put it, spun it in a way where it's kept as its natural splendor as Jul'dar found it, so that way it could be used as for wild hunts, for noble ladies and the like. And then they could tax them on the hunts that we would guide them on and stuff like that to go to the barony. You'd be... And the Wood Elves know the, land, know the lands good enough that they would be able to help them find good trophies and such. <clears throat> that would be bringing people close to the grove, would it not? No, they, they, because the Wood Elves would be the guide, they knew how to keep them away from that area. Wouldn't that also imply your kin would be entirely responsible if any of the nobles get hurt in any manner whatsoever? You would be responsible. <clears throat> well, it's either that or also keeping it, as I said, fit to her. That's only an idea I propose, sir. The other uh, thing is definitely keep the herbs that I gather that has saved her life and many others untouched and untampered with so that they're able to flourish and be gathered for the, to be made into tinctures and stuff for the potions for the barony itself. If that is deforced too quickly or trampled mm -hmm. upon too quickly, then they lose that valuable resource. It is gone. Uh, and that is my specialty. <clears throat> I don't know how much that would, that would but mean also, to you. Okay. I mean, it's valuable, yes, mm. but... Well, also... It's, it's well, about... Well, also, I put in there that... Well, Lord, I've also put in there that as they've been gathering and helping me gather, they've cleaned up the forest quite a bit. Any loose stone or old trees that are aged wood, which... A lot of furniture makers and stuff find very valuable. They have been stockpiling to the side. And I let her know that I have not done nothing with it because I do not own it. It goes to the barony. They could hold that as payment to the barony, stone and wood. It's it's it sounds like you're doing a lot of it's a little well. or well, you're doing a little of a lot of things. You need you need a valuable export that you can use to create an income that you can pay taxes with. You have valuable land there that well, you could do a lot with, but it needs to be mm. something substantial. It can't be a few herbs, some broken trees, mm. and some rock. You need something mm. consistent. It may be fishing or uh, 
farming. There's lots of land there. It's fertile, but that would mean deforestation. And understand, auditors would come into your realm <coughs> as well to inspect the goods mm. to ensure that taxation is being paid. Probably don't want that attention. Mm. <clears throat> hmm. Well, I know if they get too close to the grove, the fog takes care of it because they forget. I wouldn't rely on that, and it's what if they don't go into the fog? What if they just go if around the you side keep and go? Well, that's weird. Auditors are showing <clears throat> up, and they all keep forgetting. Well, it just raises more questions. Well, I don't know. I can't. Well, I can't really know what to deed off until I know how much she'll give me. So I don't know how far <sighs> away from the grove it stretches out. How far she will give me? That's details that she will hammer out well, in the talks. So depending I, how much she gives and, you, you will know, depend but, how much you'll have to pay tax-wise. So you can't really plan until you know what room you have to work with. Yeah, it's mainly just <coughs> ideas I'm putting before her and then she can dictate what she wants out of it or what she's going to allow me because it's ultimately up to her. It's her land. <laughs> it would be yours you know, I can't really... <coughs> yeah. It still belongs to the barony, so much, like you said, it's going to be taxed, and I'm going to be relied upon to give her something. You'll, of it, so you will have expectations be. placed upon you to protect the land, make sure it's flourish and populated and mm. useful to the barony, as the entirety of those who receive land are expected. You also have to defend it and with Does the that orc mean... threat. That's <laughs> that's going to be on you to defend. Yes, I don't and know if... politics that well. <clears throat> In Grady, does that make me a? She only made me a citizen, so I'm not a no considered a noble or anything, right? Just like a farmer or something like that, right? She granted you citizenship, but I don't know if owning land would. <clears throat> I don't know what that. It depends. If you own own a vast amount of land, you have expectations to wanting to protect said land. If you're unable to do it yourself, you can summon aid by the gods. But it depends on what exactly you're receiving and the expectations of what the Baroness has of you for said land. Okay. And there will but be if you are granted land, you're expected to use it. <clears throat> well, yeah, I'll use it however might best benefit her or what she thinks, but I need to find out what's on her mind first. I just sent her a letter at least planning out my ideas, and then from there she can educate me.